Motion Simulation Motion Simulation Mode provides tools to simulate and evaluate multi-body dynamic displacement of complex motions for mechanical systems. The integration of this motion analysis with NX lets you directly convert CAD geometry and assembly constraints into an accurate motion model with integrated, robust capabilities to study product behaviors. Motion analysis calculates the reaction forces, torques, velocities, acceleration, and more for mechanical systems. In this tutorial, we will design the simulation for a four-stroke internal combustion engine. To begin, enter into the Applications tab and activate Motion Simulation. In the Motion Navigator, highlight and right-click and select New Simulation. For analysis types, we're given two types, dynamic which processes information of interference such as the dynamic loads generated by moving parts that can be used to size motors, and kinematics, which is a more versatile mode that has the same functions but far less processing capabilities. For this tutorial, we will use dynamic. To become familiar with the ribbons bar, you're given different setups for links, joints, drivers, couplers, settings for gears, rack and pinions, cables, different jointed couplers, connectors for springs, dampers, bushings, 3D and 2D contact points, and different constraints, loads for scalar force, control, input and output, PMDC analysis, and different types of analysis for interference, uh, model checking, graphing, pot sequencing, and load transfers. To begin, we will start by designing all of the linkage and joints. To design the links in the link setup, you'll simply select the object and hit apply. Until the last link is completed, then you can hit OK to exit out of the link navigator. Within this navigator, you're given different mass and inertia properties and mass property options. For this one, we will leave it preset. Now that all our links have been created, we can proceed to the joint setup. Reviewing the different types, there are different revolute, slider, cylindrical, screw, universal, planar, fixed, inline, orientation, parallel, many different types of joints you are able to assign with different friction settings that you are able to enable or disable with different transition velocities that offer many different programmable capabilities and also unit types along with many other settings and drivers that give different translation and rotation for constant and harmonic and different functional drives which comes with initial displacement velocities acceleration for both drivers for this assembly, we'll be fixing the base and assigning our crankshaft as our driver with a 360 degree velocity that we will create a solution for with 100 steps. Also, other types of joints we will be using are cylindrical to align our pistons to our crankshaft, parallel to keep our parallelism between our pistons, Revolute to create gear functionality between the two gears without a gear belt, and Fix to constrain a component's degrees of freedom. So we can create our solution with 100 steps and hit OK, and it appears in the Motion Navigator.
While creating your joints, it is also important to constantly solve your solution and test your simulation to make sure that there's no interference or issues with the motion. But for this tutorial, we will simply create all our joints and then our constraints, solve, and then run the animation. First, fixing our base and top shaft. Now we can create our crankshaft as our main driver with a cylindrical type. with a constant rotation of 360 degrees per second. Then we can assign all of our piston and rods cylindricity and parallelism. And always assure that your orientation type vector is aligned to the z-axis. and connect the crankshaft. Now we can assign our joint revolute and give it a gear ratio. By selecting the joints and gearing it to the first joint. Now we will create point on curve constraints for the valves where the cam and valve guide intersect.
Lastly, we can create our valve cylindricity joint. Now that all of our links, joints, couplers, connectors, and constraints are all designed in, we can solve our solution that we've created before in analysis. An information box will display and, and state if any redundant constraints were detected. And we can click on animation and hit play. and view the animation and perform different types of analysis on it while changing the animation's delay. You're also able to render it in true shading mode as an animation. Which smoothness has a lot to do with your operating system. And that concludes our motion simulation tutorial.